Now, while I know this is not the newest subject, I need to kind of quickly cover this because it's starting to bug me that if I don't get this out there, it's going to make a lot of my previous videos irrelevant. So, here's the thing. You have PowerShell 5.1 and you have now PowerShell Core, which is 6.2. And the important thing to remember is that these are two different entities altogether. And one is designed entirely for a Windows environment, and one is designed to be cross-platform. So if we look at the starting point, which is the Windows PowerShell environment, you can see that we have a lot more modules than we have in the Windows um, PowerShell core. Or sorry, PowerShell core, rather. There's no Windows. Um, and equally, the same goes for the commands. There's actually quite a number of commandlets difference just on my machine alone. But this shouldn't be a deterrent for anyone because that's not really the point. When PowerShell launched originally, there was a lot less commandlets in general, and there's very few differences between the two, to be perfectly honest, other than one runs on Linux and one doesn't. Um, the other thing that's different is things like WMI objects, which is now kind of gone out of fashion and is generally replaced by the uh, get CMI instance. Um, well, why would Microsoft port something that they are already deprecating? So as an example, in PowerShell 6, it's already gone. Whilst in PowerShell 5.1, it's still there. Um, there are a few other subtle differences. As an example, in a PS uh, new session, we have computer name, but we don't have host name in PowerShell 5 because, well, it's a Windows one thing. And whilst, on the other hand, if we go to PowerShell Core and we put in computer name, we have computer name, but we also have host name option, which is a Linux feature. These are some of the subtle differences, but nothing that should stop you from using them. Now, why did I need to get this off my chest? The simple answer to this is because I'm a great believer that no matter what automation tool you use, and PowerShell is, at the end of the day, an automation tool, it should always be cross-platform. And to be honest, PowerShell Core is cross-platform, so why not use it? Just as we would Ansible, SaltStack, um, Chef, Puppet, and all the others. Now, while I've probably wrapped it on about my opinion, I, I just want to address the elephant in the room. If you're a Linux guy, like so many of us are these days, and you are looking at PowerShell, you're probably thinking, ah, oh, this is a terrible tool, I don't want to use it. Well, you need to think of this as a slightly different mindset. You see, it's not about Windows machines controlling Linux, it's about having Linux machines control Windows, and vice versa, using the same tool set just as you would with Ansible or SaltStack or the other tools. Now, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If not, you know what to do. And as always, subscribe for more content.